Good morning. My lecture Japanese radiologist at the Dota Institute is intended to pay tribute to Japanese radiologists who had long-term fellowships with Charles Dota and at the Dota Institute. The city of Portland with its beautiful surroundings Some came to see our clinical work. Others came to work cut in research, to write papers, and to start or advance their academic careers. It started with Charles Dotter, chairman of radiology department, who had close connections with Japanese radiologists. In the 50s and 60s, Dr. Tamaki, Fujimaki, Matsuyama, and Hombo had clinical fellowships with Dr. Dota and co-authors with him scientific papers and exhibits. This scientific exhibit on periatheromatous contrast visualization was presented at RSNA. Japanese fellows often went with Dr. Dota and his wife for country trips. Here, Dr. Fujimaki and her children. In the 70s and early 80s, Drs. Yamada and Narimatsu had clinical fellowships and Dr. Mizuno was a radiology resident with Dr. Dota. Professor Yamada returned for several short-term fellowships and in 1991 met with us and our research fellow from Russia. Later on, we did several hikes together, like this one in Smith Rocks, and afterwards we quenched our thirst in a mountain pub. After Dr. Dotter died in 1985, I had many discussions with Mr. William Cook about how to preserve Dr. Dotter's name for the future and continue in his creative work. The first step was establishing research laboratories in the decommissioned fire station on the university campus. With the financial help of Mr. Cook, we remodeled the fire station into the Charles Dotter Memorial Research Laboratory, a center for new ventures. This was how it looked like in 1989. Now, 13 years later, It is hidden by beyond grown trees with a barely visible sign. The second step started as a Charles Dotter Memorial Days commemorating 25 years of the first angioplasty. Professor Tamaki and Yamada and Mr. Hirata came from Japan to take part in this celebration where Mr. Cook announced his initial donation of $2 million dollars for establishment of Dota Interventional Institute, an institute for providing excellence in education, research, and patient care. Later, we expanded the research laboratory, added Dr. Parchnik, and Hans Timmermans to our research staff, updated the NGO labs with state-of-art equipment here with OEC 9600, here OEC 9800. We also built a conference room 
with Charles Dotter Museum containing his memorabilia, and Professor Hironobu Makamura was one of the, its first visitors. Dotter Institute also expanded clinical staff and presently has six interventionalists under leadership of Professor Keller, including Dr. Kaufman, Lakin, Barnwell, Peterson, Nesbitt, and Barton. In the late 80s, Professor Nakamura and Dr. Izutsu were our clinical fellows, and Dr. Sato was the research fellow. Dr. Sato worked hard, and his two research papers on hepatic artery embolization published in radiology and CVR contributed to the improvement of liver tumor treatment. Both Dr. Sato and Professor Nakamura brought their families with them and enjoyed Oregon outdoors and met with us socially. That was in 1990, and this is 16 years later. In 1990-91, we had four research fellows, Drs. Maeda, Takashina, Nakamura, and Kichikawa, who co-authored three papers. They work occasionally on rabbits, but mostly on swine. They work with high efficiency, particularly when Professor Uchida came for a visit. Everyone was very satisfied with their results. Dr. Maeda developed spiral z during his fellowship, and Dr. Kichikawa and Nakamura explored its use in tips. In the institute, they had a chance to meet Professor Strecker, a German stand developer, and to discuss stand with him. They were very helpful to us with satellite transmission of TIPS procedure to Japanese Radiology Society meeting in Yokohama. Dr. Takashina also showed his artistic talent painting Charles' daughter portrait, which is now in our conference room. In 92 and 94, we had a four research fellows, Dr. Takashima, Nishida, Honda, and Nishimine. And their work on the use of PTFE cover stand graphs revolutionized TIPS procedure and gave it a new future. The fellow group in 95-96 including Dr. Tanihata, Kubota, Ito, and Camino, came with new ideas and their work on press, percutaneous retroperitoneal splenorin shunt, showed the way for interventional radiology in the future. Our research team was quite strong uh, in those days, and Japanese fellows worked together with fellows from France and Austria. The group of doctors Sakaguchi, Sakai, Yamakado, and Yamada in the late 90s worked hard, were very productive, and published five papers. They were fun to work with, often smile, and even brought smiles to otherwise serious faces of Barry Uchida and Dusan Pavchnik. Their work included exploration of twin tube endograph, 
treatment of ruptured aortic aneurysm and use of SIS covered stent in biliary tree. Dr. Toyota, Terada and Nakata in 2001 and 2 were also very productive publishing five papers. They worked mainly on sheep, exploring use of SIS covered stents in iliac and femoral arteries. In our most recent group of research fellow, Drs. Hiraki and Anai already finished their fellowship. Dr. Hamada is still working with us and all have been quite productive. Four published papers and one paper in a review. Dr. Hiraki worked with fellows from Austria, China, and Hungary. Dr. Anai had a chance to work with research fellow from Brazil, Turkey, and Korea. Dr. Hamada is working now with a Turkish research fellow here with Dr. Pavchnik. The papers involve study of SIS for tips, venous valves, removable filters, and radiofrequency lung ablation. Even when our research fellows work hard on their projects, quite a few of them found time to go to Oregon golf courses and work on lowering their handicaps. Some fellows joined us at the Institute Hikes, this one on Mount Hood, an experience of a lifetime. Most of the research fellows brought their families with them and got acquainted with Institute staff and their families. Many fellows participated in Institute social events whether there were picnics or dinners or Christmas parties, this one in 2000. The Dota Institute was also visited by leading Japanese interventionalists and somewhere on the faculty of the Western Angiographic and Interventional Society meeting in Portland somewhere on the faculty at the International Workshop on Interventional Radiology in Prague. We are proud of our research fellows. Overall, 23 of them spent from three months to two years with us, totaling 27 years. They have done an excellent job writing or participating on 25 scientific papers. And more than that, they have used the acquired experience and knowledge for dissemination of interventional radiology in Japan. Our Japanese fellows established the Japanese Society of Oregon Radiologists that you continue exchanging experience and continue to grow. From a few members in 1995, your society has grown tremendously and I strongly believe that you will continue to grow and expand in the future. And I hope that you will continue to keep close connections with the Dota Institute. Thank you.